basketball. Yeah, odd to have a Duke Carolina game where the teams are rather irrelevant, especially Duke. Second straight meeting as unranked teams after 153 straight meetings with at least one of them ranked. Bigger game for the Blue Devils, just a 20% chance of making the NCAA tournament entering Saturday. According to BPI, lose this one, and they pretty much got to win the ACC postseason tournament. Carolina seeking their second regular season sweep of Duke in the past three seasons. Feels good for old Roy. They're 6-0 at home in ACC play, 9-1 overall at home, and Garrison Brooks step back. Armando Baycott, 11 points in the first half. The fans who are there love the rivalry game. Caleb Love, that's pure. Then Duke, suddenly down by 20. Oh boy. Wendell Moore Jr. tries to go between the legs, turns it over, backcourt violation. Duke had 11 made field goals and 11 turnovers in the first half. Brooks with the feed from Love, deep two. Duke's 16 point halftime deficit is tied for the second largest in a game in the last 25 seasons. Off the steal, Jordan Goldwire. He believes he has two points. Leaky Black says you'll get nothing and like it. Ten minutes left in the second half. Domination continues. Brooks. 14 points on his senior night. And Black feeds. They're on sharp. Yep. Two hands, pull up, work on the lats, work on the biceps. Woo! And the abs, get a little ab work there too when you kick your knees up. Uh, Duke loses their 11 and 11. Uh, any uh, hope, Joe Lenardi, for Duke to make the tournament? What do you say about a 500 team on a three-game losing streak? That they better win their conference tournament if they want to go dancing in March, even if that team is Duke. This is the position the Blue Devils find themselves in after a lackluster finish to an average season. When was the last time a team won five games in five days to go to the NCAA tournament like Duke has to? How about UConn in 2011? The Huskies did it, and then they won a national championship. So Blue Devil fans, maybe there's still hope. All right, Joe, we'll see. Coach K's squad has made each of the last 24 NCAA tournaments. That streak clearly in jeopardy. Pretty much got to win the ACC tournament, as Joe said. All right, let's punch a ticket here. Ohio Valley Conference Championship game. You got Moorhead State taking on Belmont. The Bruins won the conference title last year, only to find out that the tournament was canceled four days later. So clearly some disappointment. Belmont, Moorhead State. That is Caleb Hollander for three. He was three for four in the first half. Belmont down three, and then Skylar Potter stepping up. Sinks to three. Moorhead State up three now. OVC freshman of the year, Johnny Broom, swimming around the defender here, gets it to go. Evan Bronze in the paint for the slam. Going back and forth on this one. Moorhead State, Jalen Sabri. Three. Yes. It was 43-32 at the half for Moorhead State. They're up 11 in the second. Broom, patient, spins, gets to the hoop, nicely done. Then he calls for it, down in the block, up with the little fadeaway right there. Gets it again, why not feed him? And one. Moorhead stayed up by 16 at this point. Broom, 17 points in the second half. He was dominating, and they continued to roll. Moorhead State moving on winning 86-71, so they clinch their ticket into the tournament. And they're back in the dance for the first time since 2011 when they were led by Kenneth Fareed, the Manimo. The Eagles could be a sneaky upset play. They have won at least one game in each of their last two tournament appearances. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.